Hi guys and welcome back to another video by myself, Bates and 87 We haven't done a transfer video since midweek and uh, this is probably going to be the last one to like Thursday, Friday now guys just for the fact that I'm going away uh, to Orlando as of tomorrow for four days. So um, a nice trip to America, well needed one as well. Hopefully I can get this pasty face tanned as well and uh, a massive thank you yet again guys for your constant support on the channel. This, These videos, the transfer videos, the Fatal series and all the other ones recently are absolutely booming. I can't thank you guys enough for your consistent uh, support on the channel, on the the videos and your interaction with me as well so guys if you are new to the channel drop a subscription massive thanks in the chat drop a like wait until trying to hit over 5,000 likes and guys if you do want any MSP PSN codes or cheap game codes go and check out g2a.com their link is down below so like I said guys we haven't done this since midweeks. So we catched up on the past three days worth of transfer news and uh, quite a lot of decent stuff as well for potential foot fans. Um, like some returning cards from loan should be coming soon. It's like 12 days, I think, or maybe even like 15, 17 days uh, until the transfer window is officially open and then EA will start whacking the transfer players into packs. Now, in this video alone, we have quite a few confirmed deals, a few of them very, very exciting and also some good potential ones as well. And if you're a Liverpool fan, we do feature a lot of Liverpool players potentially um, no, a lot of players who could sign for Liverpool probably won't, as that's what seems to happen uh, with my videos. So guys, the first one we have got is Pedro, the Chelsea player, who uh, obviously moved from Barcelona to Chelsea. Didn't really have a, a decent spell at Chelsea, even though he's currently still their player. Uh, but he has opened up talks with Barcelona to try and get him back out of Chelsea and uh, back firing again for Barca. Will be an interesting one. Chelsea fans, let me know what you think of this one, as there is a decent Chelsea player returning back from on loan, which we'll see later on in the video. The next one we got guys is Guerrero. Um, I think he's a left back actually for uh, for whoever, whoever he plays for now. I think he's someone in Liga 1. Uh, but he has signed for Dortmund now. Currently playing for uh, Portugal as well in the Euros and a very exciting talent as well. Um, Dortmund as well. I've got a solid bunch of starting left backs as well. It's going to be interesting to see where everyone does play. Or maybe even he could be a potential uh, like backup for the fact that Royce is always injured. So we've got 21 more players to look at guys. Starting with Gaitan one other confirmed transfer. This one, I can't remember who I was linking him with last time round. The last time we spoke, it may be Manchester United. Uh, but he has signed now for Atletico Madrid. The perfect links in Atletico Madrid's team is quite possible with a lot of their players. And also a lot of strong links in La Liga. So, a good one for foot purposes. A good one for his career as well. And uh, a decent player on Ultimate Team if you guys have used him. Probably haven't used him just because of the lack of pace uh, on the wing. We have Lacazette. West Ham have decided not to match West um, uh, Leon. Uh, asking price of 32 million for Lacazette and West Ham have pulled out of proceedings to try and sign him. Interesting one because for me, I see Lacazette as one of the most on form strikers in the world and a good potential one as well as he is still quite young and uh, got a few years uh, left in him at his peak. So it'd be interesting to see what clubs do come out of the woodwork now and try and sign his services for their team. Um, Liverpool should definitely go and do it in my opinion but um, we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next couple of weeks with, uh, with Lacazette. The other one one we got guys is Azpilicueta now Mourinho back at Manchester United and uh, obviously looking to strengthen that defensive issue already signed Bailey um, rumoured to be interested in Juan Jesus I think it was no was it Juan Jesus there was one more centre back he's really interested in signing I can't remember who it is now but Azpilicueta is topping that list of Mourinho wanting him to bring him from Chelsea and uh, get him in the Manchester United lineup. interesting one rivals doesn't really see that you don't really see that happening do you last time that happened actually and it was with another Spanish guy where the Chelsea player went to United uh, was Juan Mata. So who knows? Maybe a swap deal. Who knows with that one? The next one we've got, guys, is Moussa Dembele. Current Fulham player, heavily linked with the likes of Bayern Munich, with the likes of uh, Juventus and a big move, money moves uh, away in Europe. But Arsenal are very close to signing Moussa Dembele. Very, very good young talented player. A lot of hype around him. And it looks like Arsenal are going to try and get him. And uh, obviously with Riziki and uh, Arteta leaving Arsenal, bring that age, bring that age gap down a lot of the players there. Next one we got guys is for um Fabino currently for Monaco the uh, the right back for Monaco got a team season card as you guys do know was heavily rumoured with Manchester United but it seems like Napoli have gone in with like an 8 million euro bid or, or 8 million pound bid for him um, and who knows what's going to happen with that one going to be interesting to see uh, if Manchester United are going to come in with a bid now to match Napoli and try and get his services we also have another Manchester United linked player and this one's painful 
Draxler, you guys know he's a channel favourite of mine. Um, love him, cam version, man of the match, not that good, but um, it seems like, and it's been heavily linked for the last three days, Manchester United are keeping tabs on Julian Draxler to try and bring him into the Premier League Old Trafford to be precise. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Also, Christian Benteke, this was a very, very strange one, but Conte, the new manager of Chelsea, currently out in uh, out in the Euros with Italy, and uh, they are very interested in taking Benteke from Liverpool to Chelsea. I wouldn't mind seeing this happen, as long as Liverpool can get a decent whack of money out of it and also a decent replacement for him. We also have Higuain. A lot of big money moves looking for strikers in this video alone. Um, Atletico have offered a massive bid to Napoli to try and get um, Higuain as their main striker but there's one more thing happening with Napoli and that'll be discussed in a second. So let me know your thoughts guys on what you, what you think Higuain should do. Obviously ex-Real Madrid player um, Definitely in his peak now. I think he's broken loads of records uh, for Napoli in the past season, even Serie A records. And uh, he's looking, I don't know if he's looking to move elsewhere, but a lot of clubs are interested in getting his services. The next one we've got, guys, is Mustafi Juventus. Um, Caceres is on his way out of Juventus, apparently. And uh, Mustafi is being eyed up as a replacement to bring him into the centre back. Good for hybrid purposes. A German, decent German as well, um, in the Serie A. And also, if Kadira does hang around, then he get a perfect link to him. Uh, it's a good one for foot purposes. We've got Pereira. Now, Swansea are heavily linked with signing him. No offence to Swansea, but Pereira, um, I thought, was doing all right at, at Juventus. Um, but obviously, I don't watch much Serie A, as you guys do know. Um, and it looks like Swansea are going to try and uh, pa pouch it. Pooch him, try and nab him from uh, Juventus. So could be a good one for the uh, for, for the Premier League next season on Ultimate Team. Anyway, we have Jamie Vardy. This one's been happening for a few weeks now, where Arsenal have put an official bid in. Jamie Vardy's making a decision on whether he wants to go to Arsenal and stay at Leicester City, and uh, it's looking like, even though he said he's not deciding till after the Euros, it's looking like Jamie Vardy is going to stay with Leicester City for at least one more season. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. He's turning down a big money move to Arsenal, but then again, Leicester City have rewarded him with. Uh, a nice payday so um, what would you guys do in Jamie Vardy's shoes if this was your career and that uh, Arsenal have come and got you like he's only got a few years left he's had a decent career already uh, but what would you do would you go to Arsenal and obviously play at um a decent club, which I think potentially if they get a few more signings, Arsenal could win the league next season. Or would you stay with Leicester and try and repeat what was done last season? We also have Niang. Yeah, very solid player. In form. Uh, well, it's in form Niang. It's not in form Niang. Isn't it? A very talented young player currently at Juvent Milan Juventus. I can't even remember what the card this was before. But Everton are going for him and looking to, uh, looking to try and bring him in as a striker. Obviously, it's looking like Lukaku is going to be on the way out of the door unless Corman can try and negotiate with him to stay around and uh, try and bolster the Everton team with a lot of signings. A lot of people have been let loose, uh, but Niang's obviously uh, looking to be going with them. We also have Maratta. This one's a, an interesting one. His whole like contract is very strange. He's at Juventus. Real Madrid get the buyback clause on him. He said his bye byes at the last game against Juventus, and he's come out and said that he wants to stay at Real Madrid. But still, plenty of clubs are looking to try and get him. Obviously, he scored a few goals um, the other day for Spain in the Euros. And what would you what would you want? Where would you want Morata to go? Now, Real Madrid Spanish striker. I would love to have that decent one as well. Probably going to get a decent upgrade for next year for sure. And this one's been going on for a few weeks now, guys. So I don't think this one's ever going to stop until it actually happens. Uh, but linked with, like, Real Madrid are going to buy him back because they get the first buyback clause. And uh, then he will go to them and then potentially Real Madrid could sell him. But he wants to stay at Real Madrid and continue his career there. So we've got eight more players to cover, guys. We have Lucas Moura. Liverpool uh, going for him. Uh, obviously, it's, it's weird to see what's happening with the league. And now Ibrahimovic going. Lucas uh, wasn't an in-favour player for PSG. Um, and he looks like Liverpool is going to try and bring him in. I would love to see him. Um, the Brazilian links in the Liverpool team would be sick. And obviously, I love Lucas as an ultimate team player anyway but um, in real life don't really know much about him um, but obviously with that pace he must be fast and that's what Liverpool do need even though we've already got Markovic as well so we've got this guy I'm going to butcher his name just a pure warning now <laughs> Gaetarini, I'm not even sure if I said that right. Ex, I don't know if he's, he is, he may even be currently a Sunderland player, uh, but he's out on loan now in the Serie A, and Chelsea, Conte wants to try and bring him in. Uh, a massive fan of him scored the other day as well, and uh, that one potentially could happen, but a bit of a weird one like that. We've got Kovacic. Now, Liverpool, Kovacic come out and said that he did want to leave Real Madrid and return back to, uh, uh, return back to the... 
return to this Serie A. I think it was with not with Inter, with another team. And uh, it, it's looking like Liverpool are going to go in and put some bids in. And uh, hopefully that does happen because he's a very solid player. Wasn't utilised enough at Real Madrid and uh, look, been looking all right for Croatia in the Euros, even though they give up two goals pretty easily uh, yesterday when I'm recording this video. So we've got Wanyama. This one's nearly a done deal. It is Wanyama. Southampton to Tottenham. Very beastly player as well, Dembele, Wanyam in the midfield, Tottenham are going to have a very, very strong defensive style um, of their midfield and he's a brute as well, if you guys watch Wanyam in the Premier League, he's very, very good, we also have Insigne, now Barcelona have, um, uh, um, Insigne's agent has come out and confirmed that uh, Barcelona are very interested and have had, uh, made contact to try and sign him, would be a solid player, whether it actually happens is going to be a different one because of the fact of uh, of uh, Barcelona's strike force now of the likes of Messi, Suarez and also Neymar who is in the same position as Insigne um, but there is something else going on which I will cover in a sec. So we've got Miss Mercado as well, currently playing at River Plate, a right back. Liverpool are very, very interested in signing him. He is 29 years of age and the reason I'm saying that guys is, actually yeah he's 29 is because that's the year I was born as well. Um, so an interesting one, Liverpool have been out, uh, Liverpool have been scouting out in the Copper America recently as well and it looks like this name there's actually a few names actually but a few of them are on the team but Mercado is on the team that's why I've added him into the video we've got Neymar now this one's been covered a long time for a very very long time and it's about the uh, release clause of Neymar he's 24 years of age I think it's 158 million Manchester United and also PSG would activate that release clause and uh, then they'll be able to talk to him now I would love to see Neymar in the Premier League Manchester United not so much if he goes to uh, PSG that would be a bit of a strange one but it's looking like um, this potentially will be happening in the next couple of weeks and uh, obviously I don't know what do you guys think with Neymar's future? There's a lot of background stuff going on with Neymar. A lot of hidden money with the, with the transfer fee from uh, uh, from where he came from in the Brazil League. A lot of money went to his dad and only some of it went to the club and stuff. Uh, it's going to be a strange one. There's a lot of goings on behind the scenes with Neymar. Even though he's a firing on the pitch, it's uh, a different story behind the scenes. So whether that would force him out of Barcelona and potentially make up for the money and, and go to, obviously, um, PSG or Manchester United seeming to be the favourites and only ones who want to activate his buyback clause. The final one as well guys is Quadrado currently at Juventus being on loan from Chelsea for the season and it's looking like Conte is going to give Quadrado the chance um, to shine in the Premier League and it's about time as well I was excited to see him when he signed for Chelsea the first time around but a disappointing few appearances and uh, obviously went off to Juventus but he's done all right there coming back, this card should come back on the ultimate team anyway, uh, deciding what happens he may go back out to Juventus but he is definitely coming back to Chelsea, so that's been a rundown guys of the transfers for today and the past couple of days, like I said guys we're back on Thursday with another video, if I wake up in time as I will be jet lagged I think, but some nice potential transfers, a lot of decent ones potentially coming to ultimate team as well uh, main talking points and I want you guys to discuss them in the comment section below the Neymar one, if you've looked into the Neymar deals and stuff guys, let me know what you think of what's going on in the background, Morata as well very interesting that one Niang Jamie Vardy we talked about that a little bit Kovacic and uh, Insigne to Barca and uh, anyone else I want you to talk about Probably Lacazette. Yeah, I'm interested to see where you would want Lacazette to end up. Uh, um, obviously, uh, a different stage in his career. But a nice bunch of players for you guys to look at on Ultimate Team. If you do want to go and create squads like this and custom ones like I do, a lot of people do ask in the comment section below. It is Footwiz. Footwiz.com and it is a custom builder uh, option on their website. So, guys, leave a like here on the video. Subscribe not. Try and hit over 6,000, 5,000 likes. That'd be absolutely sick. And a massive thank you again for your constant support on the channel. And uh, glad you keep coming back every day to watch my videos.